Hey, it's Shane. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, this channel is all about motherhood, lifestyle, and beauty. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, hit that subscribe button below. Today's video is all about what you can expect when you start breastfeeding, how I weaned my baby off of breastfeeding and just went cold turkey. So I'm just going to be sharing with you guys what I did and what I'm currently doing. It's been about two weeks. Uh, this Sunday will make it two weeks since the last time I breastfed my son and it hasn't been easy, let me tell you that, to say the least. So let me start off by saying that it is completely up to you when you decide that you want to stop breastfeeding your baby. Some people breastfeed for two to three years or you know, however long they want to breastfeed. It's really up to you and your discretion. So my son is almost 15 months now. We stopped when he was about 14 and a half months. Um, so I've been breastfeeding for a little bit over a year and I decided that, you know, it's time. It has, the time has come. What made me decide to start breastfeeding is that I noticed my son more so did it for comfort, which is okay if you're okay with that. Um, but I just felt like, you know, he's eating regular food, he has his own milk that he likes to drink. So I just felt like it wasn't necessary for me to continue to breastfeed him for nutrients at least. So um, let's get right into the tips. So what I started to do and I wasn't the best at it was I would start weaning him to just two feedings a day. So that's what I, I said, okay, you know what, I'm just going to feed him in the morning, breastfeed him in the morning and breastfeed him maybe in the afternoon. Because before bed we had already started giving him a bottle. So. Um, it wasn't breast milk, it was just regular oat milk that we like to give him. We don't give him any dairy, so we gave him oat milk before bed. And I was like, okay, I'm going to breastfeed him in the morning and in the afternoons. So if you don't know where to start, I suggest that you just start with just weaning the baby from breastfeeding all day to just maybe limit the time. You can either limit the time of day that you're going to breastfeed or the amount of times that you're going to breastfeed. So for example, you might say, okay, I'm only going to breastfeed him between him or her between 1 and 4 p.m. Um, and after that or before that they don't get any breast or you can say okay I'm going to breastfeed them in the morning breastfeed them in the afternoon or however you want to do it but just try to have some structure to it so that they don't just come up to you and they're not breastfeeding all throughout the day because that is going to make it much harder so once you start weaning your baby and you're down to maybe one feeding a day which is really good i actually did get to that point where i was just breastfeeding him once a day and then you know life happened and it kind of once a day kind of turns to twice a day into like okay whenever you're crying i'll just you know comfort you so yeah that was my mistake and i don't suggest that you do that because it's going to make it harder when the time comes when you want to actually stop breastfeeding. So I personally did a little bit of weaning, but for the most part, it was just cold turkey for me. Uh, we went away and then the day we came back, I didn't breastfeed him and then I just stopped. It was the end of August and I was just like, hey, I'm done, I'm not gonna breastfeed him anymore. And before I knew it, three days went by, five days went by, and now we are on day 12, I believe. So I'm very happy about that, not easy. So just out of curiosity, I want you guys to comment down below how old your baby is and why you have decided to stop breastfeeding or why you're thinking about stopping breastfeeding. This is a judgment-free zone, so any negative comments will be deleted, okay? So don't even think about it. I really just want to have this conversation with you guys. So one thing I would suggest if you do go cold turkey or when you do stop breastfeeding, offer the baby something else. When they do want to come up to you and breastfeed and they're expecting that comfort from your breast, offer them something else like a bottle or a snack or even if they're not hungry maybe you can offer a different activity for them to do in the moment uh, to distract them keep their mind off of the boobs <laughs> so i've made this mistake a couple of times but once you do stop breastfeeding you want to not put your baby in the breastfeeding position that they like so for me my son liked to kind of sit on my lap facing me and sometimes he would get into that position because he's really slick sometimes and he would get into that position and then start pulling on my shirt i'm like oh my gosh no we're not doing that anymore remember like i try to tell him like we don't do that anymore but he still does it even to today and it's been 12 days i'm wondering when he's going to actually forget about the breast i'm waiting for that day but it hasn't come yet um he's gotten a lot better but yeah don't put your baby in the breastfeeding position i think that's kind of obvious but sometimes we don't notice especially if you're not breastfeeding like this anymore cradling them in your arms 
sometimes they could just be a little sneaky and try to get into that position so try your very best to eliminate that completely so one of the things that i didn't have much of when i stopped breastfeeding is you need help from someone so of course my husband is here but he worked that night and that's when it got really really bad for the baby he would scream and cry and just you know can't go on and on and i'm just it was driving me crazy of course you're tempted to just be like all right come here let me breastfeed you but once you're a few days in you're really committed to the cause at least i was i was like okay it's been three or four days now like we can do this i'm gonna keep going if i go back it'll just be a waste of everything that i've done so i suggest just get help from someone a friend your partner if they're available get help from someone because it can be really hard and then it could be really tempting to just go back to breastfeeding once you have already established a couple of days without it so you don't want to do that get help from someone because it can be really frustrating the baby's gonna be really fussy that happened to me so just get help don't be afraid to ask for help i didn't ask for help so i'm kind of like not taking my own advice but um yes ask for help i wish that i did i should have because there were nights when i just was so stressed out once he's down for bed, the rest of the night, I'm just like oh, laying on the couch, like, oh my goodness. It was so stressful, so get help. Don't be afraid to ask for it. So next, I'm gonna talk about my experience. Now, I did mention this briefly, but during the day, he would come up to me and kind of get a little bit fussy. And during the night was when it was really bad, which I didn't really understand why it was so bad because I didn't even breastfeed him and that he always had his own bottle. So maybe it was something else. I don't know, teething or something, but uh, just prepare yourself for some fussy nights, some fussy days, and you really just mentally prepare yourself because I was not mentally prepared at all. So in terms of my breasts, my breasts did not get full or extremely hard. They did, I didn't get engorged at all, which tells me that my breast milk was probably already starting to dry out. So I didn't have much of it anyway. So I do know that some moms do experience that once they start breastfeeding, it can be really painful. Um, if you do experience that, you can put warm compresses on your breast and you might want to express some milk, but not too much because you don't want to send that signal to your brain to keep producing it. So I was so thankful that I didn't get engorged because I remember how extremely painful that can be. So although I did not get engorged, I did experience some tenderness in my breasts. Uh, I noticed in my left breast specifically, um, around the areola, I hope that this is not too much. Listen, okay, this is a breastfeeding video. You gotta expect me to talk about breasts. <laughs> so um, around the areola, I felt a lot of tenderness and soreness. Um, and I did experience this pain when I think I had mastitis in the past. So on my channel, I made a video about what no one tells you about breastfeeding. And in that video, I mentioned that I think I had mastitis. It was an extremely painful lump in my breast. But this time I don't have the lump, but I do have that really, really sore tenderness. It actually has gotten better, but a few days ago it was really hurting me and I didn't go to the doctor because it's gotten better. So I'm just gonna keep monitoring it. So I do think that I might have like a little bit of a clogged milk duct or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, if it doesn't go away, I'll go see someone about it. But that's what I experienced in, t in terms of what my breast felt like after I stopped breastfeeding. So sometimes when I fed the baby, he would eat a little bit and then just start fussing. And when I was at my in-laws, I noticed that he would do it with me, but he wouldn't do that really with his grandmother. So she told me, you know, I think that he's just doing that so that he can eat a little bit and now he wants to breast. Um, and I never really realized that because it happened before and I was just like, I don't know why he's only eating a little bit of food. But yeah, she told me that, you know, he might just want to stop and try to breastfeed or something like that. But I just wanted to put that out there just in case you're experiencing the same thing. It could be because the baby or your baby wants to breastfeed instead of eating actual food. So as I said, it has been about 12 days now and there are still times if I'm holding TJ around the couch and he's standing on the couch, he'll try to sneak it in. Like he'll try to pull my shirt and look inside my shirt and I'm just like, mm -mm, we don't do that, remember? And I just keep telling him, we don't do that, remember? Every single time he tries. And it's become less and less frequently, um, maybe once a day. And one tip that I can give you, if you do have a baby that likes to pull out your boob, TJ doesn't really pull out my boob, but he will try to like peek and you know grab a little bit. But you, if you have a baby that's that advanced and they're really like, you know, they're on it, <laughs> you can try to just weird things that are less 
low cut so i'm not saying wear a turtleneck but if it's that extreme you know walk around the house in a turtleneck if you have to do that even i did this myself i didn't wear things that were as low cut like this i would not wear or if i was wearing something like this i'd make sure that you know he's not on me try not to be topless sometimes you bathe with your baby sometimes to say time i'll take a shower with tj and um i try you know to limit that limit that exposure because he does know what it is when he sees it so you know just try to limit the exposure of your breasts if you can so i am still on this journey it only has been almost two weeks i'm still learning and i'm so so glad that i actually did it i wanted to stop breastfeeding my breastfeeding journey was amazing it was beautiful it has ups and its downs it had its joys and its pains as we all know but i'm glad that i did it and i did it for about 14 and a half months which is great so you do you breastfeed for however long you want to do if you want to breastfeed for three months six months a year two years it doesn't matter do what you got to do for your baby and i just hope that this video was helpful for you guys i hope that you got some tips if you are deciding that it's time to wrap it up on your breastfeeding journey with your little one i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i love you guys and i will see you in my next video